All right, so in this live training, we're gonna show you how to insert a new song into ProPresenter, one that we haven't used before. And we're gonna use Song Select to do this. Song Select is a service that we subscribe to that makes it easy for us to grab songs that have already been produced and maybe formatted properly for ProPresenter. So let's take a look. First thing that we wanna do is um, take a look into Planning Center. That way we can find more information about the song. So the song we're looking for is Son of Suffering. If we hit the little attachments option here, we can scroll down and get more details. Uh, the PDF is usually where I start. And we can see the title of the song, who wrote the song, um, and the layout that they plan on using the, the service flow, the song flow. There's uh, currently chords listed in here. Those aren't going to be useful for us for importing, at least not right now. But um, let's take a look at where we go next. I'm going to come into ProPresenter and we'll use our search option. And this time, instead of using the ProPresenter search, the library search, we're going to use Song Select as our library search. And we'll just type in the, the name of the song Son of Suffering. All right, and we see lots of options have come up, and one of them in particular has the, um, the author's names that we had seen in Planning Center. So we're going to trust that this is the right one. And we even get a preview of what the song lyrics might look like. And we can make a comparison to Planning Center to see if it's actually what we need. In this case, we like that. So we're going to choose Import. And this brings up our Import window. Now in this window, we have um, several things we can look at here. Uh, first off, we have an option to break apart the lyrics by a paragraph break or line break. Typically when you're using song select to import, you'll use the paragraph break option and um, we will select a theme. In this case, uh, the theme we want, uh, it's, it's already set for a middle, so we'll use that might as well. And then instead of import, which is really my first instinct, I want to go into the editor. So under edit, we have more information that we can um, really get into details here. So we have the options of adding title, author, publisher, uh, whether we display the copyright, CCLI, so on. Um, and then in the left side, we have our reflow editor. The reflow editor is very similar to what you might be used to using as we edit other songs. Um, and then to the right, you see the slides that it's produced. But as you can tell, um, this format is not uh, really good for what we like to use in our services. So let's knock this down to two lines per slide. The way we do this is you're going to just put your cursor right in the midst of the slides. If you hold your option key when you hit return, it's going to create a new slide at that point. So now we have two slides on the first or two lines on the first slide and the next slide carries all the other data. The other option is you can put your cursor here and choose insert slide break at the bottom and that does the same thing for us. And so now we've got three slides that are associated with verse one and um, this kind of aligns pretty well with what we usually do. But I listened to the song earlier and you may want to listen to the song while you're doing this reflow editor because the, the breaks in the song really make a difference in the formatting that we use. So um, I think what I want to do is I want to make a separate slide here. So we start with a single line, we start with another single line, and then we move into a little more. And in a case like this, um, we can take a look. The text goes way across um, here. It's like a little much. So what I want to do is to break this down. And if you're listening into the song, um, I think right here is a good place, place for break. I'm just going to hit return to bring that down. And since now I have three lines, I'm going to hit option and return to bring that down. Um, I also believe that we can hit backspace to bring that line up. That kind of join two slides and hit option return here. Um, it's just the, the way we chose to format this one. Uh, again, all of these changes can be made later, but doing it now helps to alleviate a lot of trouble later. So what I'm going to do now, just for the sake of the tutorial, is I'm going to break everything into two lines per slide. Uh, whether the formatting flows with the song or not, um, it just seems like that's what will you know, save some time here. So move ahead. You can see on the side also that it indicates whether it's a verse, a chorus, a bridge, and so on. Um, 
these things are important for our next step, which is going to be to use the arrangement option. And uh, we'll get a little bit more detail into that because it's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on there. Okay, I think we've reached the end. Now what we want to do is actually add three more slides. So I'm going to hold Option, Return, Return, and Return. Three more slides. These are just blank slides. And I'm going to go ahead and change these a little bit. So if I hover over one um, arrow there and choose Group, I'm going to make one an Intro. I'll hover over another one, Group, and I'll make an Ending. Um, and then one more, hover over, and I don't see a blank option, so let's actually create a blank. We'll choose edit, we're gonna call it blank. We'll take away any of the color, we'll just make it black, and we'll go ahead and save that, because we'll, we'll use blank in the future too. So now we have an intro, an ending, and a blank as additional slides there at the end. Um, after all of that, it looks like the way we want it, so I'm going to choose Import. Alright, now what it is, it added a song. Uh, we would find this song under our presentations, but it's also added it to our current playlist, uh, which is pretty desirable in most cases. Uh, but we can see there's a couple things that don't quite fit the way we like them. Um, First, I'm seeing that we have a mistake here in the number of lines, so we can go back into the Reflow Editor. We can find that three line item. Let's see. That was slide 11. It looks like it's just because it's too wide. So, but you chased us down. We'll hit return here. In Merciful Pursuit, we'll hit option return here. Kind of break that up into two slides instead of having really one really long run on item. Um, and even just like the slide above here, slide nine, that, that text reaches really close to the edge. So we would probably break that up into two lines um, just so that it has some buffer there on the sides but we're not getting to too much of those details right now uh, to close the reflow editor we'll go back to show and again we're seeing one slide right after the next no gaps in between verse and chorus which may be fine according to the way that the playback is however uh, there are many times where we want to put like a break in between and so this is where those additional slides come into play. So up at the top of your presentation, you've got the Reflow Editor, um, or not Reflow, it's called Arrangements, uh, the Arrangements Editor. And you can see the arrangements are listed the way that we had created them in the import stage. And we're just looking at the master right now, but let's go ahead and create a new arrangement. And we'll just call this uh, Arrangement 1 for lack of creativity. Um, when you choose arrangement one, and that is the, the arrangement that will be in your presentation for this particular playlist, you can see that it's actually uh, added this in brackets that were on arrangement one. If you had multiple arrangements, two, three, four, or so on, it will actually indicate which arrangement type that you have chosen for this, um, this playback. Um, if we were to, um, another thing, if we hit the search option, we go back to our library search, and it's the ProPresenter library. Son of Suffering is in here now, but you can see Son of Suffering doesn't show in brackets the arrangement. If I were to add this into a new playlist, it actually adds it without any arrangements. It adds only the master, and if I that's that's where I would need to then come in and choose an arrangement. Um, but that's um, not necessary right now. We'll go ahead and delete that one out, and we'll go back to the one we were working on before. So we're working on arrangement one, and we want to have a, um, first off, our intro is not at the end, so I'll remove that. The ending is at the end, but we don't need a blank slide at the end. What we're gonna do is just drag and drop. We'll put the intro at the beginning. Let's see, as I move from the master group down to the arrangement, it has added a slide where we needed it. Super. Uh, the reason why we like to add one here is because I might be able to do something like adding a clear all. Um, if I had macros, I could add a macro here. Um, let's see, I may have some macros. Well, I have some, but they're not applicable. But if I wanted to drag a macro onto that one, it would stay there. The reason why it's important to have a separate slide at the intro for that um, is because anywhere that you put intro, 
it's going to carry over those changes that I made. So like in this case, let me remove that clear all. So I'm going to remove action clear all and you'll see it removes it from the first slide as well. So it's important that we keep the groups uh, complete. All right. Um, we don't need two intros, so I'll go ahead and remove that out. And the way we'll perform it is verse one, chorus, verse two. Um, there is a bit of a break between chorus one and verse two. And so that's why we had that blank slide. And if we come down here, we can see as I added that blank, it actually gave us a pause there in between, which is perfect. Then we do verse two, and then we do the bridge like four times. It seems like a lot, but we might as well add it in there. We love the bridge on this song. Okay, and if we come down, we can see now bridge has been added numerous times. Uh, then I believe we vamp, which is glory to God forever. Um, and I think it goes back to one final chorus after the vamp. And then it ends. Um, actually, I believe it's two courses at the end. Certainly, you can go into uh, Planning Center and you can compare with what the layout is in Planning Center to uh, the way that you're creating your arrangement right now. But the beauty of having all of those items grouped together, chorus, chorus two, bridge, so on and so forth, is that when you need to change the order of a service or the, a song, you can very quickly use that arrangement editor to make those changes. So let's take a quick look back here again. We can close the arrangements and we can see it all comes down to an ending there. Um, another thing about having um, these items grouped together is you get the hotkeys at the top left corner of a particular item. So if you wanted to have just a basic arrangement like our master arrangement, and uh, just on the fly, use your hotkeys to get you back and forth. Let's say you were near the end and you had a bridge, but you were quickly going to jump to a chorus again. Um, you could use your hotkey to get you back up to that. Um, but here at Mercy Hill, we usually like to have the arrangements laid out um, beginning to end. No breaks. If you just wanted to hit the right arrow key the whole time, you can continue to do it that way because it's super simple. It's volunteer friendly. And... Uh, all of, all of our editors really put all the extra time into making it just right for services. So um, I believe we've covered all that we need for that new song. Um, there is another way that you could add a song in here, and uh, I'll just show you really quick. Um, let's see if we we'll do this on the fly here. Uh, all right, I'm going to use a search. Son of Suffering Bethel Lyrics. Okay, and let's say I copied these lyrics from here. And I'm just going to use Command C to copy. We'll come back into ProPresenter. I can then choose the File option and import text from the clipboard. Um, since I'm copying from the web, um, the paragraph piece doesn't quite work the same as it does from Song Select. So I'm going to choose Line Breaks. It does two lines each. You can change your theme, but always go back into the editor. But you can see here now what it's done is it took what was on my clipboard and it pasted it all in here. Uh, the trouble is uh, there's a couple things that don't fill in. You would need to change your title. You need to add your CCLI data, your author, and so forth. Um, and also the groupings are not... Um, custom groupings like they were when we imported from song select but this is a good way that you can get to um, you know adding a song that maybe you don't have access to in song select it's available to do that here so hope that helps and um, we'll try to cover more details on some of this in future training